How y'all doing? In our video about involving paleo art, uh, I'd like to discuss about another book there by the artist Julius Satonier. You can find out all about him in this book. The Paleo Art of Julius Satonier, Dinosaur Sabertooth and Beyond, edited by Steve White, who did the dinosaur art um, in my, one of my last videos. And that book came out in 2012. This came out in 2014. This is from Titan Books. Um, this one shows uh, talks about the guy in particular. He was also he was in dinosaur art. This one it takes that section and expands upon it. Talks about um, what how he gained his um, influence into art. What techniques he used. Mostly digital compositing. He could take photographs of real life, put them all together, and does a lot of the paleo um, art using software and integrating it in. And I will admit, while not, well, not everything is totally 100% perfect, depending on the piece of artwork he's doing, a lot of it is. It's much better than a lot of the stuff that you'll find for, if you go to any bookstore and look at a children's section on dinosaurs, and you look at, and a lot of them these days use these crappy CG designed dinosaurs. Really, it's just, I can't even barely look at this stuff. I, I would have liked it as a kid when you had no standards, but um, I rather prefer um, hand-drawn or painted forms of artwork. Um, but this one, if they were more like him, much more, you know, I would have had no problem um, being as a kid looking at all this stuff. It is very good, as you can see from the slideshows. In the beginning, in the beginning of the book, he talks a little bit about himself, who he's influencing, and the rest of it is just um, describing the paintings, what's in it, and you know, um, as far as what species are there. And intersection, and there's some wonderful foldouts um, to where you could take a, you know. Um, where some of them just fold outward like this. And there's a couple of sections where he talks about certain pieces in particular. Um, like the one, if you look at the slideshow, there's this one where you see a sauropod in a circle that looks like a camera, a 360 camera uh, from the ground looking up. He describes how he does that, how he keeps the angles correct. Uh, there's a, a foreword by David C. Evans, an introduction by the famous Robert T. Bacher of the Dinosaur Heresies fan. I'm sure a lot of you paleophiles know about him. So, yeah, um, nice and short there, but again, as you can see from the slideshow, you can see a lot of various artwork, but yes, if you want some more, you know, um, a lot more in-depth, pick up this book, Julius Satoni, is um, the paleo art, and uh, that's all I got to say about that, and y'all try a nice day.